slow down, oh my god, slow down, oh, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fall out of this tuk-tuk. When you're planning your trip to Kenya, the two destinations that you hear most are either Diani or Masai Mara. But there are so many more beautiful destinations to visit here in Kenya. In my last video, the start of my time in Malindi was spent on finding myself. But today, we're going to explore more of what this beautiful paradise has to offer. <sighs> Welcome to the beautiful town of Malindi. Right now we've come to a hotel called Diamond Dreams of Africa and apparently they have the best culinary experience here on the coastline of Kenya. Now this hotel is a whole group of hotels and so we're staying in one of the hotels which is called Diamond Dreams of Africa. What does Zanel grab first? Vegetables. What do I grab first? Dessert. The food over here is actually a buffet service and I got pork loin, chicken and these potatoes. My plate is not so pretty but this food is so exceptional. Like I put the pork in my mouth and I was like... So good! Oh, hi there! I didn't see you guys standing outside. Well, now that you're here, let me give you guys a tour of my junior deluxe suite. I have this one all to myself. Right over here is the lounge area. And then you have a TV that's constantly playing Hakuna Matata. Come around here, the beautiful king size bed. And here, this here is the bathroom. It's so spacious. I really love all this that's happening around the mirror. It's super cool. <laughs> This here is the view, so you have a lot of beautiful palm trees, gardens. So we're gonna be staying here for the next three nights and we have a lot to do. You guys know how it is on the Adventure Sing channel. We like to do things a little bit differently from everyone else and today we're going for a swim, but not in just any swimming pool. We're going to go and swim in a hydro pool. Let's get in. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude. So it's a series of jets that just smacks your body. It feels like a massage with the water. It is so powerful. Yeah, it's like a ticklish itch. <laughs> that is some serious pressure under the water right now. <laughs> it's like you're being devoured by that water. Oh my god! <laughs> it's hitting my thighs. <laughs> So this hotel over here caters for a lot of people at a time and so after Covid this is the first time I'm actually visiting such a hotel and it feels so weird in terms of the measures you know everyone has to wear their masks while walking around of course because of the heat it's crazy inside over here. But anyways, you know, you gotta stay safe. So putting on our masks, sanitizing our hands constantly. So breakfast is also a buffet style and they have so many to pick from. But for me, as usual, I love my English breakfast, but they also have Swahili, uh, they have Indian. Got some croissants, mandazis, cake, yeah. cookies and cake, and some cereal. And so begins a brand new adventure. And for today, we're driving with one of my favorite tuk-tuk drivers. This year is Hassan. He's pretty much one of the coolest tuk-tuk drivers you'll find here in Malindi. Our first stop for the day is the Sabaki River. This river apparently is a really dangerous one. So there's crocodiles, hippos. But one thing that we're here to see in particular are flamingos. So we're going to be heading down right towards the river. And wish us luck because uh, this is a danger mission right now. Are you nervous, Danel? Yep, I should have worn shoes, but I didn't. And welcome to the Sabaki River. Actually, I want them to come. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> 
look at these guys, they're putting our lives in danger right now. Oh yeah, Hassan. <laughs> so you have some hippos right over there and way back oh, over there oh, you can oh, see oh, a few oh, flamingos. Oh, oh, oh. The Sabaki River actually leads from Athi River, then it becomes Galana River, then Sabaki, and then it feeds off into the sea. And a few weeks ago, we swam in Gatamayu Falls, which is part of this river. So that's an insane coincidence. I think it's so freaking amazing that you can actually see flamingos here in the coast of Kenya. I well, I'm so amazed right now. It's like every time I come here, there's always something new. Flamingos in freaking Malindi. So last time we were in Malindi, Hassan showed me how to drive a tuk-tuk but that was about what, two years ago and it's, it's been two years so I've forgotten so he's offered to show us again. This is the gear Okay. and this is the accelerator. Okay. So when you put gear number one, you just release the clutch slowly uh -huh. and it will start moving. Okay. Woo! <laughs> so now I can take over your job. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? We are taking you there. Your, your, your driver is here. Oh, he has made it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ow. Okay. Then, she is going to drive this too. Oh, trust me. <laughs> so, as you can see here, there is number one. Yeah. So now the took the driver now. Yeah, it's good. Slow down, oh my god. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fall out of this tuk tuk. Hey, you brought us home alive. We're alive. Woo! Hi, <laughs> and my driving. <laughs> Captain Sanele. A thousand Zanel. bob, please. Thousand bob. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hassan. You're most welcome. By the way, if you guys want to use Hassan's services, I have put his number in the description below. You're most welcome. <laughs> Alright, so about an hour away from Malindi, we have come to a place called Marafa and over here is a place called Hell's Kitchen, which is a community-run site that you can see over here. It's basically Kenya's Grand Canyon, if you will. This is freaking insane. This is the creme de la creme of the trip for me, honestly. My name is Francis. I'm a community guide at Marafa Hell's Kitchen. And uh, this is called the uh, Hell's Kitchen because normally when you come here during the sunny days, uh, you come here at midday, temperatures down there rise up to 50 degrees. So right now we're going to hike about 45 minutes into the canyon and this place has a really cool story. So legend has it that once upon a time, about a thousand years ago, there used to be a rich Giriyama man who used to live here. And so God had blessed him with a lot of cattle and from this cattle, he would get a lot of milk. Now, him and his family were very greedy and the family had a few neighbors that were poor and the family wouldn't help these neighbors. They wouldn't share this milk. In fact, they went, they went on to use this milk as water. So they would wash their clothes, they would clean their floors, with the milk and God got angry at this and cast upon his power destroyed everything and brought this all down into this canyon and so the whole family died of course and apparently the colors of this whole place represent uh, the family so you have the white which is the milk uh, the red which is the blood of the family and the yellow which is the feces of the animals yellow is sulfur red is iron and the uh, white is limestone. The Grand Canyon in America, mm -hmm. that's a rock. Okay. So it experiences minor changes. Eh? Okay. But here, there are always a lot of changes because this is clay soil. In this tree, we have uh, some fluid. Once you test that fluid, uh -huh. after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you go neither to hell or heaven. Let me ask you a question. If you're in no, Hell's you Kitchen mm -hmm. and you eat that, mm -hmm. does that mean you'll go to hell? Uh, Francis was just explaining to us that all the money that we pay at entry is actually used for the community and mostly what they use that money for is bursaries for students' school fees. And so these students will have a better school life, they will learn, they'll become much better in their lives and using that, they will better the community. Such a wonderful initiative.
the hotel has organized for us a very special dinner and the chef, the executive chef is actually cooking for us live. We're gonna do a three course meal. So we're starting off first with onion rings and lobster. And then over here is ghee. Grab the onion ring, dip it in the ghee. Okay, so usually at home, my mom uses a lot of ghee to make uh, the Indian food. And I don't like it that much, but this works so well. I love how the smoothness of the ghee just like, intertwines with the fried onion and it's freaking good. And it's so crispy. This slaps. <laughs> slaps? Like, slaps with a capital S. <laughs> <laughs> so lately, Zanel taught me this new word of slaps. Yeah, it's a way to describe food that's really good. So this, this slap. So next up on the menu is calamari pasta. I can taste the chili and like it's just punchy and the flavors are like really nice and savory. Cheers. I think what's really cool is the calamari flavor that it imparts on the pasta itself. Mm. This Ooh, looks cool. so beautiful. This is, this is a plate that I can stare at like a <laughs> lot. I mean, look at the size of those prawns. So the prawns right now have been covered with uh, sesame seeds and I absolutely love sesame seeds. So he's de-shelled the prawn and I'm going to go absolute barbaric right now. This food is so delightful. Like, prawn is bursting with flavor. So freaking good. So I stand corrected. I thought this was going to be a three course meal. Looks I, I told Raj it's a five course meal, guys. Is it a five course? It's, okay, it's so it could be five. anywhere between a four course or a five course meal. I think but the question is, it. who's paying? No, 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 you can't do this now. So we've come to the end of our food journey for tonight. The final stretch, which is dessert, and what we've been served is, he said something like crackling? And then with that, there is a sorbet. So this is a mango sorbet. Oh, wow, that is so soft. It's so soft, it's spongy, it's like a cloud. Fantastic. That was a fantastic meal journey. I'll see you guys in the morning. Right now we're in search for sunrise and we've woken up super early. We've made our way to this place called Botwani Bridge, which is also known as the Malindi Pier. We're meeting two new people today who I met on the internet. This right here looks like one of those desktop wallpapers. You have the birds walking along the water and then you have the blue water, you have the sun rising, beautiful colors in the sky. Oh my gosh. Last time I was here, the tide was pretty low. It was all the way there. But now the tide has come up super high. Hey man, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? <laughs> good, man. Nice to good meet to you. you. Oh my yeah. god. Okay. This yeah. morning I was just like this, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> this guy went through a whole adventure yesterday to try and get to Malindi. But yesterday, it started in the, the cafe yesterday when I couldn't upload my YouTube video. I was there for four hours, 50%. And I was like, this is gonna be four it. Four hours. Then you, then you missed your train because you couldn't book tickets yep. for the train. Then we asked you to book a flight, which first we couldn't find any cheap flight. So we had to book those super expensive ones. Yeah. And then- Then you went to the wrong Malindi, city. He went to Mombasa, to Mombasa instead of Malindi. Which is three hours away. <laughs> Took a taxi. Then halfway through the taxi ride, our taxi blew a tire. So we're changing the tire on the side of the road. That's when Roger Bear called me. He's like, where are you? I was like, we're on our way. What do you mean? It's three hours away. He's like, no, you're supposed to fly to Malindi. <laughs> Well, you finally made it. made it, so welcome. Made it. It's and you're enjoying world. this, oh, this beautiful, beautiful sunrise, wow. One of the coolest things about Malindi is the beaches. Just a few days ago, we went to one beach that was pristine white. This beach over here is more on the yellowish, goldish side. And for this beach in particular, there's something very interesting that I want to show you guys. Whatever's sparkling right now, that's pyrite. 
and so you can use it as glitter. Now put yourself into the light, let's see. Are you a shine and shimmer and... <laughs> <laughs> I am. Well, it's basically like makeup. How cool is that, <laughs> right? That is cool. You don't need Fenty Glow when you have this sun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, look at that. Like You're shining diamond. bright like a diamond. Like a diamond. <laughs> My breakfast plate has never been this colorful, so I've got a lot of fruits. Um, this is a chocolate croissant, I believe, and two chicken sausages. That's the only meat I'm going to have for the morning, at least. We're at a place called Malindi Marine Reserve. This boat is a private boat and we've hired it for about 4,000 per person. 5,700 for these dudes because they're international. All right. We have Zanel, we have Ryan, we have Josh from Arizona. And Hassan. Yeah, he's the one who organized this boat tour for us. If you're using him as your tuk-tuk driver, not only is he a tuk-tuk driver, he's like, the rate bargainer tour guide, everything that you need here in Malindi. <laughs> hey! I can't believe we're towing another boat with our boat. All right, we made it to the first stop. Uh, we're gonna snorkel here. It actually looks pretty shallow. Okay, one. such a beautiful snorkel there's so many different kinds of fish in the water and off we go to the sandbank where we're gonna grab some lunch the captain has started cutting up a little bit of fish and uh, some lobsters this is so amazing I love it Ooh, the sand it's so fine. We're on this beautiful sandbank. We, we literally have this whole place all to ourselves. How clear is this water? <laughs> so freaking awesome. Ooh, we got lobster, we got prawns, a cool crew lighting up the charcoal. <sighs> We're in paradise. Paradise right now. Whoa, that looks so delicious. We've got a proper feast happening here, huh? Cheers guys. Cheers mates. Lunch was delicious. Mwah. That marks the end of an amazing freaking boat tour here in Malindi. Ah, hey, that, got me that boat ride was sick, wasn't it? Boat ride was wonderful. It was amazing. Besides the uh, yeah, five o'clock burn that I got. You're burnt. Whoa. Dude, you look like you look like that. Like a red pepper. Like the food at this place has been so phenomenal and every day they have different selections in the menu. I'm trying to keep my plate as green as possible. So we have some avocado, some lettuce. Uh, this is seafood biryani and roast duck. They have a lot of stuff for vegetarians. Veggie, like rice risotto. Risotto. So good, that's delicious. And then zucchini soup, which is also slapping. Desserts, exceptional. In fact, I just had to get more. Everyone else got some for themselves. <laughs> That's just how good it is. And I'm gonna end the video over there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to get this video to 3000 likes. So if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, please make sure to hit that like button. It will really help. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.